What is a junior pharmacist and how much does a junior pharmacist get paid in the UK? These are the questions that we're going to answer today. My name is Yasser, I'm an NHS hospital pharmacist. I've worked for hospitals in the UK for the past six years now and graduated seven years ago. Today I'm going to answer the question of what is a junior pharmacist and how much do they actually get paid? I worked as a junior pharmacist between 2017 and 2018 and I have a video on my channel where I speak about how much I got paid as a junior pharmacist. However, today I want to cover the important topic of how much does junior pharmacists get paid today? And this is taking into account the recent NHS pay increase. So a large proportion of the unions have now accepted a 5% pay increase for NHS employees. I'm going to take this into consideration and speak about the new figures associated with this. The reason why I'm doing it now is the likelihood is that due to the fact that the majority of the unions have accepted, the likelihood is that this will go through and go ahead with all of the unions. We'll see how that plays out, but the figures that I will give you with regards to the junior pharmacist pay will likely stay the same. So what is a junior pharmacist? A junior pharmacist is a term that's really given to hospital pharmacists in the UK. Community pharmacists don't really have or use the term junior pharmacist. And it's sort of to mirror uh, the term given to junior doctors as well, to give a better understanding of where a pharmacist is in terms of when they graduated and give a better idea of hierarchy. So the junior pharmacist term is given to those that have newly graduated or have newly started in a hospital pharmacist role. The reason why I say it's likely to be newly started in a hospital pharmacist role is those without hospital pharmacist experience and they have never worked in a hospital pharmacy before are not likely to get those specialist roles. So it's if you ever start in a hospital after you've graduated, you will start in this role called a junior pharmacist role. That starts at a band six pay grade and pay grades are important when considering NHS roles. So if you're working in community pharmacy, you don't have to worry about pay grade. The way different companies calculate your pay is slightly different. Pay scales are used across the board with different uh, healthcare professionals in the NHS. This is slightly different to junior doctors and doctors. They do not use this particular pay scale, but let's go through those values. So what is a band six pharmacist paid? And that would be the same as a junior pharmacist. Well, the starting entry pay will now be 35,000 392 pounds. There's a very important thing to take into consideration. This will be your starting pay. If you stay within this role for two years, then you will have a pay increase to 37,350 pounds. And if you stay with this role for a further three years, that will then subsequently increase to 42,618 pounds. So let's take a look at how much you will be paid hourly. So the hourly pay will be at an entry point, 18 pounds and 10 pence. And you will have this pay for the next two years, and then you will get a pay increase of one pound per hour to 19 pounds, 10 pence. Now let's compare this to other roles within the NHS. So nurses often start at a band five pay grade. So given the new price increase that is going to be implemented. This will mean that a band five nurse will be paid 28,407 pounds. So that will be for the next two years once they graduate, which will then increase to 30,619 pounds. Let's take into consideration hourly pay. So the hourly pay would be 14 pounds and 53 pence for a newly starting nurse at a band five level and this could subsequently increase to 15 pounds 67 pence after the next two years. So why is talking about salary important? Um, I talk about salary quite often on this page and it's because of the fact that salary could have a drastic impact on the role that you choose within your career. Sometimes pharmacists or newly qualified pharmacists won't go for a hospital pharmacist role because of that disparity in pay. That disparity in pay can be so large that people that have a family to look after 
A £10,000 pay difference between community pharmacy and hospital pharmacy could probably be enough for them to consider community pharmacy over hospital pharmacy. So it's very important to take these values into consideration, to talk about these values and compare these values and ensure that you're being paid sufficiently. So these are the reasons why I go through salaries within these videos. I'll be very interested to know your thoughts on the new NHS pay scales for 2023 to 2024. So drop your comments in the comment section below. If you are a pharmacist that does not work in the UK, I would love to know how these salaries compare to salaries in your country for pharmacists that are newly qualified. Thank you for watching, like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.